viewers to another episode on ASU G12 exams. So in the previous episode, we just finished uh, answering the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. So in the next 12 episodes, we are going to focus on the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 2. So make sure that you follow me on all the next 12 episodes that are going to focus on the 12 questions in in this uh, paper. So without wasting much of the time, let us move straight to question one. So when you look at a uh, question one, so question one has got two parts. Part A is based on matrices while part B is based on sets. So let me zoom in so that you are able to follow me as I look at part A, then also part B. So part A leads, given that the determinant of matrix Q which is equal to, open bracket, 2B minus 1, then 4, which is the top row, then we have negative 3B, then negative 3 is 15. Then find question A, the value of B. So the question is asking us to find the value of B, then we also find the inverse of the matrix Q. So what have we been given? We've been told that the determinant is 15 of this uh, matrix. So once we know the determinant, then we can find the value of B. So when you're talking about the determinant, what are we talking about? So if you're given a matrix in this format, A, B, then we have C, then D. The determinant of the matrix A, this determinant is given by a times D, which is a D, then minus B times C. So what you do, you multiply that and that, then the product, you subtract the product of B and C. Once you do that, this answer that you find is what is known as the determinant. Then based on that principle, we can find B by finding the determinant of this, then equating it to uh, 15 because 15 is the actual determinant. So what we do in this case is we multiply that and that so which will be basically 2b minus 1 multiplied by negative 5 then from this you subtract the product of the these two. So what we have is a minus then 4 multiplied by this which is the negative 3b. Remember that uh, this negative is what is this one. So you see, note that we are getting it anywhere else. So based on this principle, then we equate this to 15. Why 15? Because we are told that the determinant is 15. So this whole thing is 15. Then at this point, it's just a matter of expanding and dealing with uh, the negatives and positives when multiplying. So what we have is negative 5 times uh, 2b, we get negative 10b. Then negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Then we come to uh, this, which is negative 4. Because of this negative, multiply by that negative 3b, we get positive 12b. This is equal to 15. Then we collect the like terms. You know that uh, this b and this there. They are like, so what we end up with is 12b, which is a positive, minus 10b, because of this negative, then equals 15. Then this 5 crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. So what we have is a minus 5. Then uh, 12b minus 10b, we end up with 2b, then equals to 15 minus 5, 10. So this, simplifying it from here, what we have is 2b is equal to 10, we divide by 2, we divide by 2, so b is equal to 5. So 5 is the value of b. We go to uh, Loma numero 2, where we are asked to find uh, the inverse of um, matrix Q. So let me just move to the new page so that you are able to uh, follow me clearly. So when you are asked to find uh, the inverse, if again you are given a standard matrix A is equal to A, B, C, D, like this. Remember, we had found the determinant to be A, D, minus B, C. This is the determinant. 
So if that's the case, to find the uh, inverse of A, what you do is 1 over the determinant that we found here, then multiply by. Now what you do is you swap A and D. So you swap A and D, so this is the interchange. So you end up with D, then A here, okay, then minus, so you negate B and you negate C. Once you do that, what you are saying is this is the inverse. You simplify that. So this new matrix is known as adjoint. That's what it is. It is known. Then you multiply by the inverse of the matrix. Then when you simplify that, what you get is the inverse of A. So using the same principle, remember that we are just from finding uh, the value of B. So having found the value of B, what we can do is we can find the actual matrix Q. So we know what uh, B is. This is 5. 5 times 2B is 10. Okay, since it's 10, 10 minus 1, we have 9 here. Then this is 4. Then we have 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Then we have negative 5 here. So this is the Q matrix. So having found the, uh, this to be the matrix, then we know we safely say a Q is equal to 9, 4, minus 15, then we have minus 5. Then we use the same principle to find now the inverse. Remember we already know the determinant. This determinant to be basically 15. We know it. So what we do is the Q inverse is equal to 1 over 15. Remember 15 is the determinant. We've been given already. Then we come to uh, this uh, matrix. Remember, this is basically A, this is B, then this is C, this is D. So, A and D, they swap. So, what we have, we have minus 5 here. Then, we have then 9 here. Then, these, they are take opposite signs. So, th since this was positive 4, it becomes negative 4. Since this was negative 15, negative times negative, it becomes a positive. So we have uh, that. Then what we do is we uh, simplify. So I'm going to have a negative 5 over 15. Then negative 4 over 15. Remember this 15 is multiplying everything. Then a 15 over 15. Then 9 over 15. Then if I were to simplify that, I'm going to have basically negative 1 over 3. Then negative 4 over 15. Then I'm going to have a 1 here. Then I'm going to have a 3 over 5. So this one, the simplified inverse matrix. Once you do that, you would have answered the question A. Let us then look at question 1B. The Venn diagram shows the number of learners who took at least one of the three subjects, biology, chemistry and physics. So we have uh, the Venn diagram, then domain numeral 1, given that the total number of learners was 170, calculate the value of x. So the question requires us to find what the value of x in such a way that the total number of uh, learners represented in this Venn diagram is equal to 170. So what we do is we add everything in these three sets, then we equate them to 170. So let us start with x, so it will be x plus 5, which is this one, then plus 10, then plus x, then plus this, which is x minus 5, then plus 15, then plus 70, then this should be equal to 170. Then we just collect the like terms. So we start with x plus x, which is 2x, plus x, which is 3x. So I have 3x here. Then the next one is the like terms is 5 plus 10, which is 15. Then plus negative 5, which is 10. Then plus 15, which is 25. Then plus 70, which is 95. 
so I have plus 95 here is equal to this which is 170 okay so we have that 170 then what we do is we collect uh, the like terms so we're going to have 3x this side is equal to the moment uh, this one crosses the equal sign it becomes a negative then we have 170 minus 95 then 3x is equal to so if you use our calculator we do 170 minus uh, 95 in case we're not so sure you're going to end up with basically 75 then we divide by 3 we divide by 3 then x is equal to 25 so 25 is the value of x then we go to a Roman numeral 2 m how many learners took question a biology and physics but not chemistry so they did biology and physics but not do chemistry so we go to a biology and physics so biology and physics is this uh, area this area is biology and physics but they did not do chemistry or they were not taking chemistry so we take out this one because these are the one that were doing biology physics and the chemistry we mean with 15 so we notice that a Roman numeral 2 a is 15 then we go to b two subjects only so two subjects only so that's it not three but two so we have two which is this part the first part this is biology and the chemistry then you have this one which is biology and the physics then you have this part which is chemistry and physics these are the one that only took two subjects so for b to answer b what you do is you add this so i'm going to have a 5 plus 15 then plus x what is x x is 25 so you add that so it's important that you get x collect once you mess up with x then everything is messed up so when you add this 5 plus 15 is 20 plus 25 you get here basically 45 so 45 is the answer on b then you go to see uh one subject only so this is now one subject only so one subject only we have this x then we have 10 then we have that so x is 25 then this is 25 minus 5 which is 20. again it's important that you find x to be a uh, collect if you mess it up then everything is messed up so you're going 25 plus 10 plus 20. so when you add this we're going to end up with 55 uh, pupils so this is how you answer question 1. so join me in the next episode when we look at question 2. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this uh, video to be very helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Once you go to our channel, we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you. You'll notice that we've got uh, mathematics, uh, physics, and chemistry. We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics you could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic this is the best section for you